In this video, I will provide a quick explanation of the nihilist cipher. So let's say that we have the plain text, math is fun. To encrypt this text using the nihilist cipher, here's what we do. We first need to build something known as a Polybius square. This is a 5 by 5 square in which each letter of the alphabet only occurs one time, excluding the letter J. Now to actually construct this square, what we do is we pick a keyword. So for this example, I picked the keyword treat. So starting in the top left corner, we start writing the word treat. So in this first block, we write T, then R, then E, then A. But instead of writing another T right here, remember each letter in the alphabet can only occur once. So we've already written a T. So once we've exhausted all the letters in the keyword, we just start writing the letters of the alphabet in order. So the next would be B, then C, then D. Instead of E, we've already used an E, so we're going to use an F, and then G, H, I. Remember, we're skipping J, so we just move on to K, and then L, and we just continue filling in the Polybius square in this manner. Now, once we've finished building our Polybius square, the next step is we need to pick a relatively short word known as a key. So for this example, let's say that we choose the word art as our key. What we're going to do is write this key over and over again until it's the same length as our plain text. So here's what that looks like. Next, we're going to convert both the plain text and this key stream into numbers. So we'll work with the plain text first. So first, we go letter by letter. So first, we need to find M within our Polybius square. So here's our M. What we're going to do is write M as the row number, which is 3, and the column number, which is 4. So we're going to write M as 3, 4, or 34. And we'll move on to the next letter. So the next letter is A. Let's find A in our Polybius square, and we'll write it as the row number and then the column number. So 1, 4, or 14. And then we'll move on to T. So if we find T in our Polybius square, that's right here. It has a row number of 1 and a column number of 1. So we'll write it as 1, 1. And then we'll just continue in this manner until we've written all of the plain text as numbers. And then we'll repeat the exact same process for this key stream. Now the last step to actually getting our cipher text is we're just going to add each column value. So we'll do 34 plus 14, which is 48. And then we'll do 14 plus 12, which is 26. And we'll just add each of these columns. So this is our final cipher text. This is how to encrypt the plain text math is fun using the nihilist cipher with a key of art. All right, now let's say we're given this cipher text and we want to decrypt it using the nihilist cipher. In order to do so, you need to know the Polybius square that was used to encrypt it in the first place, and you need to know the key that was used to encrypt it. So the first step to decrypting this is we need to write the key, art, in terms of the numbers in the Polybius square. So for example, the first letter of A, let's find that in the Polybius square, this corresponds to a row of 1 and a column of 4. So what we can write is 1, 4 underneath the first number in the ciphertext. Then we'll move on to R. So if we find R in the table, that corresponds to row 1, column 2. So we'll write 1, 2 under the next number. And then we can move on to T. So we'll find T in the table. That corresponds to row 1, column 1. So 1, 1. And recall that when we encrypted text, we had to repeat this key over and over again. So all we're going to do is just write this pattern 14, 12, 11 over and over again until it's the same length as the ciphertext. So here's what that looks like. Next, we need to just take the ciphertext and subtract the value from the key stream. So 48 minus 14, so that's 34. Then 26 minus 12, that's 14 then 22 minus 11 is 11, and so on. So here's what that looks like. And now the last step to getting our plain text is just converting these numbers to letters using the Polybius square. So for example, we'll look at row three, column four. So in our Polybius square, row three, column four corresponds to M. So we'll write M as our first letter. Then we'll find one four. So row one, column four, that corresponds to A. And then we'll move on to 11. So row 1, column 1, that corresponds to T. And we'll just continue in this manner until we've decoded all of these numbers. And when we do that, we will find that our plain text was math is fun. So those were just a couple quick examples of how to encrypt and decrypt text using the nihilist cipher.